Hey, y'all make sure y'all like this video, man. It helps out the video a lot. I would greatly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you new. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man. NBA 2K20 current gen is broken. Um, but y'all don't know this. So the community is gonna have to come together, okay? And help the current gen, you know, people. There there aren't a lot of content creators on current gen, so I guess this is just like an unknown issue, but it's a big issue, bro. Save your VC. <laughs> so look, your skill boost and your Gatorade boost do not work on current gen. They don't go down. They only go down in other modes. If you guys did not know, okay, I'm gonna show you me on an account with Gatorade and gym rat okay and i don't have my double blue bar you see how that that double blue bar like it's nice and big man you know because the game is very terrible you know uh worst 2k ever <laughs> but as you can see like that double blue bar it helps you have a little bit of fun and um a little bit of more realism so uh that double blue bar if if you went and got your gym rat and you bought Gatorade, you can't have access to it. You only get a little bit of the bar. It has not been addressed. It has not been fixed. Your skill boosts do not even activate. Um, I don't want Gatorade or skill boosts even in the game. I want it to already just be applied to the player. Uh, skill boosts, I just want gone. But, you know, I want the Gatorade to already be applied to the player. I'm not in components of this pay to win bs but i'm just saying that it's an issue and it's broken and it needs to be fixed because this is not how it is on um next gen as you can see right here i tweeted it out and he says only works in career games they don't work anywhere but you don't lose them i have double bars but it don't pop up okay so th this would be a major issue if i was on current gen you know and also let me know down below which uh game you like more the gameplay wise um, current gen or next gen, man. Now look, as you can see, bro, I only have one bar. Okay, that is not the double bar. Um, it should be fixed, man. You see, look, I'm gonna finna go get a dunk. Easy! Y'all let me know if y'all wanna learn how to dunk like that every time. <laughs> and if you want this build, man, let me know down below. Drop a like. <laughs> But um yeah, the bar should um be bigger. That's that's not double bar. Pro tip, guys. So if y'all didn't know, if you want the bar, I recommend everyone do this. I'm sure a lot of y'all don't. You know, there's a lot of new players, casuals, even just people overall. I never see people do this. Look, guys, all you have to do is do these drills. Even if you mess up, you get a bar, okay? Um, or get gym rat, right? You get a bar gym rat or do your drills every week and uh you know you get a bar it helps you with your stamina do it <laughs> do it okay uh tell your friends to do it before you play with them and um spread the message so people can have a better experience all you gotta do is do the drills and you get the blue bar okay now look quavo tweeted this out you know bro 2k dead as fuck this shit just dropped nobody be on this shit it's half and half man nobody be on the game i don't care what people is at least at least in the people i play with right i play with way better people than you know most of y'all and just people that are like decent at the game they don't play bro like i'm, I'm telling you bro and you know I, i'm not picking up guards i'm picking up locks and centers they say they don't like the game bro okay uh it's a big thing so I, I can definitely vouch for that nobody beyond it's like bro it it feels like um it feels like worse than 2k18 bro like all the people you used to play with like they just don't play no more y'all let me know y'all's experience now look with this whole dead thing bro listen listen first of all the community okay th this needs to spread the community i'm talking about the the people who aren't content creators the only people we should be worried about if the game is dead are content creators. That's the only people who should be talking about it. Every time I stream, this game's dead. This game's dead. Every year, this game's dead. Why you post this dead game? Dead game. Dead game. Game's dead. Dead, 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 dead. Why do you care? <laughs> you are a viewer just meant to play it casually, bro. This is not your bread. 
who cares if the game is dead when you go into a park it's always going to be the same amount of people when you go play rec it's always going to be the same amount of people when you do anything same amount of people why do you care about the litness of something it's just like music bro why do people care about all these people's numbers why not just enjoy the music right and i'm no defender of 2k right i'm just saying like it's just it's mad annoying to hear and then it might it might discourage like uh other creators when when they don't even realize listen if you're an up-and-coming creator bro this is the best time a lot of the people that's popping now running shit they started during the dead era man you know of the game of a game of 2k era and they they might have not have ever of gained a following if they never started in that era you start in the dead area when everyone give up and you keep going you know i haven't did that right you know it's it's hard to be consistent on this 2k blah 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 you know especially when you got a lot of other things going on real life all types of you know a lot of people over a million subs you know duke badge joe um it goes on bro they they blew up and dead 2k 2k 18 bro um a lot of the most popping streamers they blew up during dead 2k if they tried during like the prime 2k and stuff they wouldn't have been able well maybe you know they they did try some of them but you know it didn't catch on until everyone left and they stayed consistent and voila look what they um blossom to bro so anytime a game's dead you as a creator you take advantage of it like like it for instance when i stream bro i be barely getting follows all that so like like the game it's not popping right it's not popping like people ain't really looking to watch it none of that blah 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 but if you stick with it you can find success bro there's plenty of youtubers that pull hella views on youtube okay so if if you can see it you can do it always remember that if you can see it you can touch it right there's streamers pulling crazy views on twitch there's streamers getting a bunch of support on twitch playing 2k and there's youtubers doing it getting a bunch of views and there's a lot of people who never had a lot of views now getting a bunch of views because of this game and the audience so it's like bro if you want to do it do it it don't matter about the litness the deader the game, the better for you, man. There's a lot of misconception out there. You know, the more saturated and popping a game is, it's actually harder. That's the reason a lot of people start in 2K because it's easier or just doing other things in general, bro. So, I mean, you know, keep at it, bro. Whatever y'all trying to do. EJ said 2K23 is not dead. You know, he's getting a lot of uh, views on everything. More, more than he has in, in uh, current previous years. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not dead for him, you know? Guys, and it, it's, it's just annoying, bro. Like, why do you, and when, when, I, when, I, when I'm talking, bro, it's just like in general. It's never like, I'm not yelling at the people watching my video. It's like, bro, why do you care? You know, you feel me? I can understand you said, man, none of my friends play this. You know, stuff like that. But just to say the games, why do you care about the number, bro? Like, imagine if Drake only got 30K views. Like, you just wouldn't like his music no more? You're like, you're that much of a sheep? Come on, bro. You feel me? Like, bro, start to enjoy stuff for what it is. And enjoy your time. I mean, the game's trash. It's absolute garbage. But if you like it, you like it. Play it. Don't play it just because everyone else playing it. Especially if you're not a creator, bro. Like, it don't matter. So, look at this. Okay? This is to my greater point, bro. There's a lot of misinformation being spread out there by these evil demons. Look, this guy tweets out, First Call of Duty in history where you can't even look at your own KD, laughing my ass off. Why do you why do you think this feature is in there? And I heard they did this in other 2Ks too. Or not 2Ks, but CODs too. Why do you think this feature is in here? For casuals, right? There's a misconception in gaming that they're making things more skill-based. No, they're making it more casual-based. I don't like how people are lying. Bro, there's a there's a false narrative out there that 
the changes they're making to the video games, they're doing it to have a bigger skill gap or whatever. But no, they're doing it to make the game more casual, to lessen the skill gap. So the majority have more fun. They think it'll make them have more fun, right? My problem is people are lying about that. Um, I don't know if this is a good thing or not, right? But it's, it's the fact that people are lying about it. Don't lie, okay? I, I don't like that liar stuff. It's, 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 it's evil. It's just like with 2K23. People are saying it's more skill-based. How? If think, Just think about it. If most of the casuals, if most of y'all listening to this video, if you're a casual, if you enjoy the game more and you know you're not very good, I don't know why people can't admit that they're not very good. If you are enjoying the game a lot more, wouldn't that make it more casual base? Most of the casuals like this 2K more than a lot of 2Ks. Doesn't that make it more casual based? And then most of the better people, like the content creators or comp players, they don't like this 2K, okay? So what does that mean? Why do you think adrenaline was implemented? to help the casual why do you think certain things were like like come on bro like <laughs> like let, let's be let's not lie bro like it, this it's i just hate the lying aspect it, it's okay you can have your own opinion all that but stop lying bro it is so annoying but look he says this one is really for the casuals they don't know what a kd is so yeah let's remove it right you know, people care about it, right? I'm look, look. I'm a bot compared to like comp people in COGS. I barely played. I used to be good at it, but I'm a bot in in Call of Duty, right? Just because I go and shoot guns in real life, I'm not gonna get on Twitter and all this other stuff and start spamming paragraphs and forms on how COD should be and just ruin it for the people who play the game every day who really. Why would I do that? Of course, if something's broken, like, you know, the Titan of the past, the thermal thing, I'm sure they would even agree, the comp players, right? But like certain things, I don't even play it enough. So why would I try and just ruin it for someone who's like a tryhard in it? It, it just doesn't make sense. Like, for instance, let, let's see what he says. The entire game's for casuals. No red dot. I don't even know what this means. No slide canceling. You see? They're restricting movement in all games. Why do you think they're doing that? Noisy footsteps, easy camo grind, stats hidden. I, I don't know. You know, um, just overall in gaming in general, they're making it more casual. Babe. I'm just saying, why, why do you think skill based matchmaking is in place right now in a lot of games? Because they want to protect the casual. Even though it's actually messing up games when people think it's helping, they think it's helping, blah, blah, blah. But listen, it's to protect the casual. So can we stop lying? Like 2K is like, this is the year we're gonna make it skill-based and just because the people who've been bullying the community forever is now like complaining, even though they, they complain every year about the game, uh, it, it, it doesn't mean that it's more skill-based. Always remember, speed gap, skill gap, low speed gap, low skill gap. In almost any video game where there's a lot of movement and speed and all that type of stuff, that's where you can separate yourself. When it starts to become slow and condensed, that's where the skill gap is diminished because people that aren't as good as you can then, you know, have a greater chance of competing with you. That's just how it is. Anywho. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description. Make sure you go to the gym eight days a week. Drink a gallon of water a day. And click on one of these two videos. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.